Hey guys, Mr. Roper, and I'm here to show you how you can use the uh, mock-up for the t-shirt to put your final t-shirt design onto a blank tee to show your client. So from Google Classroom, you're going to download the file called t-shirt mock-up front, and it'll open up in Photoshop, and it's going to look something like this. Now, this file is organized into two different layer groups, the background wall and the t-shirt hanging mock-up. In the background wall group, if you open it up, you can change the color of the wall that it's hanging in front of simply by clicking this little icon and choosing a different color from your color picker. I'm just going to set this to like a slightly off white wall and hit OK. Now in the t-shirt hanging mock-up folder, this is where you're going to input your art that you've created in Illustrator. So to do this, I'm going to double click the small thumbnail icon on the put your design here layer. Okay, this icon right here. And that's going to open up a new tab showing me the placeholder image and a safe zone box. This kind of defines where your artwork has to fit inside of. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this design since I'm not using it. You can see it's made up of multiple layers. So I'll just select all those layers and then hit trash can to clear them out. Now I'm also going to need to have Photoshop or uh, Illustrator opened up with my artwork file here. So there's my t-shirt design. I'm gonna drag over the whole thing, copy it, and then jump back to Photoshop and paste it, Control V. It's gonna ask how you wanna bring it in. And I think the safest way to do this is as a smart object. That way it's gonna come in at full resolution and you can still resize it. So I'm gonna choose smart object and click OK. And there it will drop in my design. It's a little bit small. So I'm going to enlarge it out, holding down shift and pulling only from the corners. And I want to make sure that my whole design fits inside of these blue guides right there so that nothing's wrapping around the shirt. Once I get it to the right size, I'm going to hit check. And I'm going to close up this tab. It will say, do you want to save? And I'll say, yep. And that will apply my T design to the blank T on the mock-up. Now you may have to do a little bit of adjustment here. You can see when I pop this in, it's a little bit big. It came in a little bit lower than I want it. So I'm gonna go back into that layer and I'm just gonna resize it slightly. And I'm gonna raise it up so it's a little bit closer to the collar of the shirt. And then I'll hit close, save, and my design's on the T the way I want it to go. Now you can also customize the color of the shirt with this layer right here. So if you click the little um, thumbnail, it'll come back up with your color picker and you can choose a whole range of different colors from here. And I would try to keep it as close to what you said you were gonna do in the, um, the planning document. It might not be exact, but if you can get close, that would be great. This is looking awesome, actually. I really like it on the gray. Let me see if I can go like a kind of medium gray there. And then I'll hit OK. And now this is ready to save out as a JPEG to turn in. So my last step is I'll come out and I'm going to go File, Save As, save it to my computer. And I'm going to just call this my last name, first name, Final T Mockup. And make sure that I change it from a Photoshop file to a JPEG, save, and this is ready to go. Mockups are really powerful tools for showing your client exactly how your artwork's gonna look when it's all done. So uh, this is an important step and one that's really gonna make your work look professional. You can share these mockups to social media. You can put them on a web store if you actually wanted to take pre-orders for your shirts. Um, and then as people request them, once you get a big enough group of requests in, you can go ahead and order them and ship them out. So have some fun with this. I can't wait to see how your designs turn out, guys.